Good morning. Are you excited? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, on behalf of Campus Program Board, we would like to welcome you to the Music Box concert today. Good news. Mr. Tracy Silverman has graciously accepted an invitation to do a bonus con concert this evening. So that will be at 8 o'clock in the Ritz Auditorium. It is not required to have a ticket, but if you get a ticket from me tonight or today, you are guaranteed a seat this evening. If you do not have a ticket and they get passed out through the rest of today and you come tonight, we can't guarantee that you'll have a seat. So if you want to participate in this evening's concert or you want to bring back family that aren't able to be here today, please come see me during this show and we will make sure you get tickets. And it's going to be a treat. You won't want to miss it. And that's in the second story of Old Main. Now, do you want to learn a little bit about Tracy before he starts showing us his talent and sharing it? The BBC Radio has called Tracy Silverman the greatest living exponent of the electric violin. A graduate of the Juilliard School of Music, Mr. Silverman is a former first violinist with the Turtle Island String Quartet and has contributed significantly to the development of and the repertoire for the six string electric violin. Easy for me to say. Tracy has appeared with the Los Angeles Philharmonic, the Detroit Symphony, the Nashville Symphony, and many others, inspiring composers to write pieces specifically for him. He has appeared on national radio and television shows, including A Prairie Home Companion, NPR's Performance Today, and a profile on CBS's News Sunday Morning. Currently on the faculty of Belmont University in Nashville, Tracy is an advocate for music education and is working to keep string playing up to date and relevant in our popular culture today. Without further ado, and this is very important, pictures and videos are welcome. Yes, throughout the program, not just at the end, but without further ado, please help me in welcoming the amazing Mr. Tracy Silverman. Okay. All right. How are we all doing? Hey. Glad to see you all here. All right, I'm going to play something.
All right. So, as you can see, if you're a solo violin player, you need to bring some pedals along with you. You know, just to keep things interesting. So I did. Um, and I'm going to use, uh, use one of those pedals uh, quite extensively in this next one. Uh, you probably figured out I've got this thing called a loop pedal uh, where I can record what I'm playing and play it back and add to it, add harmonies to it and all that. So none of that comes, uh, you know, um, pre-recorded in the pedal. It's all stuff that I'm playing live for you. So if I make a mistake in the loop, you're going to hear it coming around every time. So that's how you know. I do that purposely. This way you know it's live. Otherwise you might suspect, you know. So, so I just, you know, I like to keep it honest, you know. So, so in this piece, uh, this is called Matisse La Danse. And uh, some folks that I see, some friends from last night, um, will recognize this. I played it for them. Uh, this is inspired by a painting by Henri Matisse called La Danse. It's the uh, it's about dance, and uh, it's a so it's a piece of music that's inspired by a painting that's inspired by dance, which may have been inspired by music. So, so uh, what I do in this in this uh, tune is uh, it, it's that painting you've probably all seen it with the five dancers holding hands and dancing around in a circle. It's kind of a you know it's. Uh, pretty widely circulated, it's sort of a symbol of peace and harmony and all that kind of stuff. You know, nice stuff like that. So, um, so what I do is I introduce each one of these five dancers one at a time with a different musical idea. So I give them each sort of a different personality. Uh, and then using my loop pedal, I stack them up so that they start, first there's just one dancer, and then there are two dancers, then three people dancing, four or five, and then finally, I paint myself into the middle of the painting, which Matisse just left out, and, um, and I uh, improvise on top of the five dancers that are there, and I do my little happy dance in the middle of the circle. So this is Matisse La Danse.
kind of job, still right. And it's gone. All right, here's a tune by Carlos Santana, one of my favorite violin players.
All right, I'm going to play uh, something from a concerto that was written for electric six-string violin, one of those concertos that Sharinda was mentioning. Uh, this was written by John Adams. He's a great contemporary uh, living American composer. And um, this is a piece called The Dharma at Big Sur, which is electric six-string violin concerto uh, that was commissioned by the uh, L.A. Philharmonic when they opened their uh, concert hall in uh, uh, 2003. So uh, this piece is, uh, has a lot of influences from uh, Asia, from uh, Asian music, uh, Chinese music, Iranian, Indian, uh, and it uses a tuning system called just intonation, which is just kind of uh, a, a more pure tuning system. Uh, so I'll be kind of using that um, in this, which is actually one of the things that makes it sound kind of uh, Indian because it's something that's typically used in uh, Indian music. So so this is, uh, the, the whole concerto is about a half an hour, but I'm just going to play a couple of little excerpts from it, uh, from the first movement and from the second movement. Uh, the first movement is very raga-like because it's sort of over a drone. Um, and what I do is uh, to try to approximate this orchestra, as it's written for a full orchestra, uh, I use my loop pedal again to sort of create this orchestral score, play a chunk of the first movement, and then I do the same thing for the second movement, uh, create um, this orchestral background, and then play a little chunk of the second movement. So this is the Dharma at Big Sur.
Here's a little J.S. Bach.